Okay, for, for this question, it says the author of the passage cites Rosenblum's book most likely in order to do what? And so she mentions here in line number six that while this person, Rosenblum, gives us a good synopsis, she, however, basically makes or doesn't really give enough attention to the events that happened after 1920. And this is the, the whole point of this passage. It shows that scholarship in women's photography just isn't that great. You highlight people who shouldn't be highlighted and you ignore others who should be highlighted. And in the case with Rosenblum, she just basically summarizes a bunch of unfamiliar names. And so this is an example of, again, how in terms of women's scholarship and women's photography is just not up to the level it needs to be, which is answer choice C. Provide an example of why, of a way in which scholarship on the history of women in photography has been unsatisfactory. And that there is the key. Now let's look at another wrong answer, A. Suggest that the workers documented most thoroughly by historians of women in photography often do not warrant that attention. So she mentioned that earlier on with Alice Austin. However, is that why she's citing Rosenblum's book? She's citing Rosenblum's book to talk about that overall phenomenon of bad or poor scholarship in women's photography. So again, A is not the answer, but C is.